everyone, my name is Janvi Pavar. Welcome back to my YouTube channel or if you people are new over here, then welcome to my YouTube channel. And in this video, we're going to be talking about how can one improve their vocabulary in the best way possible. I think before getting on to the tips, I'd like to say one thing is that we cram vocabulary, we memorize it. And then after four or five days, we forget all of the words and then we have to cram those again. We need to understand is that the real goal is not to memorize or cram new words. The real goal real goal is to start using those words in your daily life. For example, if you're having a conversation with somebody in English, so you need to start using those words in that conversation. And how can you do that? That's what you're going to talk about. So let's get started. Now, I'd like to say one thing. If you really want to use new words in your lifestyle, if you really want to use new words in like your daily life when you're speaking in English or it can be any other language. So I think you need to learn vocabulary, not from a vocabulary kind of context, but from a life kind of con context. Let me tell you. Uh, let me tell you what I mean. So whenever you are listening to anything, so you tend to listen to words in a full context, in a situation. Whenever you're reading anything, you read those words, a new word, you read those in a new situation, in a new scenario. For example, if you are listening to any movie, if you're listening to a podcast, or if you're listening to an interview, speech, anything, and somebody uses the phrase, so this is a bizarre situation. So now you do not know the meaning of bizarre. So what you are simply going to do, first of all, you're going to figure out the meaning by yourself is that what kind of situation is he talking about? And if the situation, what he says is bizarre. So what is bizarre? So firstly, you're going to try and figure out the meaning by yourself. And if you can do that, then go on your Google, type the word bizarre and find out the meaning. Now, the meaning of bizarre is strange. So you start using the word strange, uh, start using the word bizarre instead of using the word strange. Now, what's going to happen is it's also going to take you a bit of time in order to make your mind understand is that you have to keep using these words. So this is tip number two. Tip number two is start writing and start speaking both of the things. Now, what's going to happen whenever you write, then make sure to tell your brain is that you have to use the words that you listen today. You have to use the sentence structures that you listened or write today. So after that, what's going to happen? You're going to have a bit of practice of using those words and you're going to do this on a daily basis. Do you ever have a monologue with yourself? I'm pretty sure all of the time. So this is your tip number three is that having a monologue that is all of the thoughts that are running around in your head so those are your monologues you know you keep thinking about something for example if you're walking you're thinking about something you're talking to somebody you're thinking about something so rewire your brain to think all of those things in the language you desire for example it can be english but start using the words that you read that day so few initial days you have to force yourself to use those new words in you know, in your thoughts, whenever you're writing, but after a week or two, they, those words, they're going to become very familiar. You know, you'll be very known. You'll already be exposed to those words, but give me just two weeks where you have to force yourself to start using those new words. And then it's going to be very natural. Next up, I have, this is your tip number four. Now, in tip number four is, you know, when the vocabulary is all done and stuff like this, a lot of us make this common mistake is that whenever we have to find a meaning of a very huge word, so we tend to use a bilingual dictionary. Stop using a bilingual dictionary because when you start using new words, your brain is going to be so conflicted. Okay, so this word means this in Hindi language. So that means I have to use this word in a way like this. That is super confusing. Don't do that. Instead of that, you go on your Google, you search, uh, you know, you type out a huge name, for example, a huge word, and then you find out the meaning of that word in basic English. For example, the word smithereens. Now, if you're going to find the meaning of smithereens in English only, smithereens meaning in English, so it's going to be like small pieces. So now you know small pieces are smithereens, not in Hindi like chote tukre, that is smithereens. Don't do that. You're going to be super conflicted. So stop using a bilingual dictionary. If you're 
totally a beginner, then it's all right to, you know, to know the basic meanings and basic uh, words. So then it's obviously very important to use a bilingual dictionary. But if you're already aware of the basics, if you can understand me right now, so I'm pretty sure you all understand English. So instead of using a bilingual dictionary, use an English to English dictionary or whatever language you want to learn. So start following these tips. And make sure to tell me your progress report after two weeks. Once you're done with everything, you know, done with reading, done with listening, writing and speaking. And then we're going to see a difference. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I'm going to see you guys in the next video. So, yeah. Bye, everyone. Stay safe.